Hi, my name is Corey, and I am a friend of Larissa Wilson. And the way that we came to meet is interesting, and how it changed my life is, is absolutely dynamic. Um, I am 29 years old. I was born and raised in a Christian uh, religion. My father was staunch Christian believed in the Bible, the truth of the Bible, Jesus is the, the way, the truth of life, um, that that was the one and only way that a person could have a relationship with God, the only way a person would go to heaven, and thus those who did not accept that went to a hell. Um, I was active in the church, I was active in missions, and about um, May of last year, 2011, when all of the Joplin tornado um, tragedy hit, I felt at the time that God had called me to go and serve. From that point on, my prayer was that I wanted to know God more intimately. I wanted to know who he was. I wanted more. Um, also noticed that I struggled inside of myself with having the joy, and I use that word because that's the one that's used all the time, the joy that Christians have. Um, because of their relationship with God. And me having been a Christian for a good 25 years, you would think that I would have that joy. Um, I knew the walk. I had what I would consider a strong faith. I um, am not a flippant person. I don't just jump back and forth on things. I make um, decisions with time and information. I, I just, my faith was not something that I took lightly. We'll say that. And uh, I noticed that I began to struggle. Mainly, the first thing that popped up was my marriage. That I could serve my husband the way that um, Christ commanded us to. The way that the Bible said that I should. I could do those things. But it didn't change how I felt inside. It did not change how I felt while I was doing those things. And there, were just, there was the joy, the peace. There were a lot of things that I felt like I was missing. And so my prayer began to be, God, show me who you are. I want to know why I don't have this. Change this in me. Reveal yourself to me so that I can know you deeper, so that I can have your peace and your understanding and your joy, and I could love others the way that you love them. And I, this, there was a song, it's by Brandon Heath, that it's Give Me Your Eyes, and that was my prayer. Give me your eyes for the brokenhearted. Give me your eyes so that I can see everything that I've been missing. And I prayed it, and I cried, and I prayed. And then one weekend, my husband and I decided that we were going to go to Dallas and have a couple's weekend. We ate, and as we were leaving, I saw a young woman on, on the side of the parking lot with two small children, um, and she had a flat tire. We drove over there, and um, it was Larissa. And she and I began to talk, and we offered to help, and, and she talked about how she was going to turn it into a homeschool lesson for her kids. And uh, my husband, she decided to go ahead and let my husband help and change the flat tire. And we got to talking, and we, I realized we, wow, we really clicked on a lot of things. There were a lot of things about community that we both agreed on, and, and loving people, and helping people, and reaching out to people. And um, just, it's like we shared a faith together and we just we just clicked and then she says man I just left this morning and I and I threw it out to the universe and I thought oh god universe 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 something's not right here because when you need help or you want something you don't call out to the universe you call out to God you pray to God that you need help you don't say universe help me because now, all of a sudden, I had flashes of, oh, crystals and new age and um, all that universe talk. It just, it was a big red flag for me. And I put on my brakes. And I, I kind of withdrew myself. And all of a sudden, I did not know what to think of her. Because she presented herself with such, I don't know, she had what... I wanted and I saw it in person I saw it in her there was a joy and 
apparently now with talk of the universe that joy didn't come from the same place i thought it should come because only christians can have that kind of joy at least that's the way i was raised you you don't get that anywhere else you only get that through a relationship with god via his son jesus christ who died on the cross for all of our sins so it, it threw me for a loop i really liked her we exchanged business cards i got in the car with my husband and he thought she was fabulous and i was confused to say the least i i told him i was like i something's not right she's got this joy i called it a palpable joy she's got this joy about her and all these things she was talking about but something's just not right something's not right i don't know what it is something's not right and so I, later we had a weekend i got on facebook we connected we became friends on facebook and i started looking over her interests and the books that she liked and i'm seeing things like the quran the torah the bible she's interested in quantum physics islam and i'm thinking oh my god who is this woman she can't possibly think the way that i think if she's got all of these interests because in christianity you love those people but they just they're missing it they don't they don't have it right they're they're going down the wrong path and we are supposed to be the light of the world that loves those people so much that they want to know about christianity and they want to know about the son of god so to see all of those things on her page just man it just threw me for a loop it didn't make sense now i was really i was really messed up so i decided to send her an email and i presented to her that it was great to meet you and um i just i see that you have a love for people we share in the same interest in helping people in the community but i am a little confused about your belief system and, and actually i was i said the way that i believe is that jesus is the way the truth of life no man comes to the father but by him and that's where i had my love for people and this was the beginning of what I would call my awakening because I sent that email and what I got back from that blew me away. Uh, blew me away enough that I'm going to write a book about it. Blew me away. This is no small thing. She sent an email back to me using the same verse that I sent to her, Jesus is the way, the truth, the life, and she broke it down. And what exactly that the verse meant. And it's just the first time I had heard this. I, I She she presented this information not in a this is my opinion but in a well if you go back and you look at the original text the original language this is what it translates to so it, it basically presented to me a challenge because as i said before i did not take my faith lightly so i thought to myself okay i've never heard this before is it true and I, I wasn't going to just discount it because I didn't know. And I then took it upon myself to figure out who was right, okay? The last 25 years, I've been taught all of this stuff that I believe, and I can back it up with Francis Chan, with uh, Billy Graham, with all of these big, great names of people who have gone and done the research, and this is what I was taught. And then you are telling me this is what it really meant? I, I Let's see about that. So... I went and I looked up what she sent to me and I found out that what she sent to me was accurate. So that opened the door for me to begin discussing some of the beliefs that I held. My complete identity was wrapped up in Christianity. That's who I was. If, if you were to ask me who I was, I wouldn't have told you a mother, a wife, a daughter, an employee. I would have told you I'm a Christian. I am a daughter of God. That is how I defined who I was. And once I realized that the belief system that I knew was not completely accurate, I guess is one way to say it, um, it wasn't full, it wasn't complete, that it had been um, maybe misguided even. I went back and I started researching history. I wanted to know how everything came 
and began to come together. I wanted to know the real translations. I wanted to know if this woman knew what she was talking about because she talked with so much fervor and, and enthusiasm and knowledge. It's not like she just picked up a self-help book and said, oh yeah, by the way, what you knew was all wrong. No, it's not the way that she presented it. She presented what she knew and told me to check myself, basically, to challenge me to go and find out for myself, not to take her at her word, but to figure it out myself. And I did. And I began a three to four month journey on understanding where I got my belief system, who I was, even when you took the Christian identity away, who God was, um, where that left me when I found out these things. And I went through a grieving process of basically realizing that I, I'm not, that's still not who I am as a Christian because you could take these labels off of me and I would still exist. And who who am I? And that that is something I did not know. And it's not an easy place to go because you realize that you layer by layer, are covered up by trauma. You want to please people. You want to be loved. And to realize that you have value outside of the labels that you put yourself under. It's humbling, but it's freeing. And the freedom that you get from that, it's just not comparable to anything at all. And I actually had a Christian friend come to me and tell me that I needed to be careful because God would let me fall into a hole. And I told her, you know what? I would fall into a million holes if it meant that I would find the truth. And I didn't fall into any hole that I had not created myself. Every time in my search to figure out who I was and who God was and who, where my place was in this world, there was no hole that I could blame anybody for and I couldn't have figured out any of this if Larissa hadn't been there to be a sounding board to be a reference to point me to go within myself to find the answers that I needed because truth be known I prayed to know this I, with every part of who I am, I wanted to know who God was. I wanted to know the truth. And that is what I asked for. And that is what I got. And that same principle is out there for everybody. It's not out there only for the people who believe in Jesus or Allah or any of these monotheistic religions. It's out there for anybody who wants it and you can have it. Sometimes you just don't know where to look. You don't know how to look. You don't know which questions to ask. And Larissa changed that for me. And now my the process is not over. I think it's, it's an ongoing process. But I can tell you that I'm not bound by the laws that man have put on this world. I'm not bound by the laws that religion have put on this world. I am not bound by my own insecurities. And you can have the same freedom Everybody can have the same freedom if they want it. And if you are watching this, then something inside of you is searching for something. And I promise that you can find it. If you really, really want to, you can find it. And if you really want Larissa's help, I, I can tell you in 29 years of my life, no one has ever helped me more than she has.